There's a saying that I read a long time ago that said the key to a teacher is making himself obsolete to the student. And you know, some of my students now who understand how TrackMan works, when they aren't hitting the ball well, they send me their TrackMan numbers, they don't even send me their video anymore. So face angle negative 0.3, club path 3.2 degrees to the left. That's how you see that kind of like a little pull cut. Hitting down five degrees. But yeah, you just, what happens is you see them not tinkering with their swing as much when they understand those principles and realize that they don't need to change their whole backswing. They might just have to focus on actually being astute about squaring the face. Just in an athletic manner, not changing grip or doing anything, just getting them to change the face. So that's the difference. That's the difference in the look of probably three degrees. And then the thing exits earlier. Yeah. With a face, it appears, well, it is a lot more neutral. Mm -hmm. And then the one thing I've found that's really helped with my tour players is getting them to understand how attack angle manages swing plane. So the more I'm hitting down on an iron, uh, the more I have to swing to the left. Just to get a zero horizontal swing plane would have to be the down, the left matching the down a bit better. Um, yeah, the, the, actually, to, you mean to zero the swing plane or zero the path? What's going to make the ball go straight? The, zeroing the path. Okay. If you zero the swing plane with how much you're hitting down, you'll hit a draw. So being able to show them that you can play the ball in the middle of your stance or the back of your stance, it's just gonna change the way you have to manage the plane line. So for example, Tiger in Australia playing in the wind, and the commentators were making note of, of how out to in he was swinging and saying, you know, he's gonna fade this shot. I mean, that shot was a dead straight bullet because that two iron, he's probably hitting down on like nine degrees to keep it out of the wind. I mean, this thing is probably seven feet off the ground. Um, so with a two iron, based on the vertical aspect of the plane, you know, if he's hitting down nine degrees, he's gonna have to shift the baseline of that plane probably seven degrees to the left. So knowing that's okay, if you wanna hit it this low and straight, this is mandatory. It's not like an opinion, it's a, it's a complete fact. You know, I could have like Ames and Hunter who are both hitting four, six yard push draws, all right? And you'll notice with Ames that when he's doing it, that the vertical swing plane is actually, is significantly more up, okay? So the degrees is closer to say 60, whereas Hunter's at 55. Well, then you start looking at the baseline, they're different. The face and path are the same when they hit the shot. But one's attack angle versus the other is different, but it's still giving you the same numbers at impact. So it's never looking at Hunter's numbers and saying if Justin Rose can get these numbers, it'll be perfect. What it does is they all kind of like a thumbprint have unique aspects of the overall movement of the club as it's striking the ball. So they could be hitting the exact same shot and never really look the same at all on video. Because I definitely saw you work that one on the downswing, Rosie. Like down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What it does is it saves time all the way around because I can do now in two weeks that would have taken me two months of trial and error. And the advantage is that because the numbers are there and because the numbers are correct, the trust aspect of the relationship between the student and the coach goes up too. And that trust aspect is the most, probably is the most important part in the learning because Within trust, there's safety, and within safety, we are going to learn as much as possible because we don't have any predetermined fears or doubts or anything like that. So that's, that's a huge advantage kind of in the, the philosophical aspect of the relationship with the client. You know, the funny thing is people see the numbers and all that and they think it's too mechanical. I'd say I've never in lessons as much as I have in the last couple years talked about let's feel more of this, let's feel more of that. We spend less time in front of the mirror, less time on video, and more with, more with kinesthetic and noetic images and feels, more with visual aspects. So 
The true mathematics is getting us further away from mechanics. And that's always a good thing.